Hey guys, how's it going? It's Amy here, Director of New Me For Christ, bringing you today's Life Words video, video two in our second week of Life Words, looking this week at foundations. Hey, we have a lot to look into today in our passage. Our passage, Genesis chapter 21, verses one to five, and then the whole of chapter 22 of Genesis. What might God want to say to us today? So our story starts in Genesis 21, following on from Quaku's yesterday. See, we see the promise that God made to Abraham and to Sarah come to pass. Abraham and Sarah, though old in age, have trusted and hoped for a baby. And finally, Sarah conceives and they have a baby boy. A baby boy they call Isaac. Isaac meaning God has given me reason to laugh or God laughs. Sarah makes this beautiful comment. When people remember this story, they will laugh with us for the impossible became possible. They hoped, they put their trust in the Lord and he didn't let them down. Can you imagine how special this baby must have been? The most prized thing that Abraham and Sarah must have ever held in their possession. But then something crazy happens because in chapter 22, God asks Abraham to do the unimaginable. He says, Abraham, take your son, Isaac, whom you love, and sacrifice him to me as a worship offering. Can you imagine what Abraham must have been thinking? Like, what? We've waited for this. What are you asking me to do, God? But what does Abraham do? He follows the instruction. He takes some men along with Isaac and they journey for a day or so. Somewhere along the way, they say to the other men, wait here. Abraham says, me and Isaac will go and worship and we'll come back to you. Now, I wonder what Abraham was thinking the whole way. Did he really think he was going to have to go through to this? Or did he know from early on that God would somehow provide? He just had to trust and wait and see. Anyway, they get to the top of the mountain. They start to build the altar. You know, Isaac's getting a bit cautious. You know, Daddy, what are we going to sacrifice? What does Abraham say? The Lord will make provision for us. So they build the altar. Abraham puts Isaac on the altar. And just as we think the unimaginable might happen, as Abraham lifts the knife, God calls out, Abraham, Abraham, don't do it. I see your obedience. Look in the bushes. And what do they find in the bushes? A sheep, a lamb. They're going to offer the lamb instead of Isaac. What does Abraham say? The Lord is my provider. A name that we might have heard before. There's lots of names in scripture for God. Perhaps one of the more well-known ones, Jehovah Jireh. The God provides for me. The Lord is my provider. What might we want to take from this strange story today? Well, I wonder how good are we at trusting the instructions God gives us, even when they seem crazy? When we follow them, what might we discover about ourselves? but also about the Lord. See, Abraham showed that he trusted. He went along with the plan and God met him as he stepped out in faith. God made provisions for him. He learned something about God and about himself as he followed these strange instructions. Two, we learn with Abraham that the Lord is our provider, the one who provides for us. Where do you need to know God's provision today, practically in your life? What do you need to know of him? Why not ask him to meet you at your point of need? What would it look like for you to believe that the Lord is your provider today? But thirdly, let's not miss something else in this story. Because as Christians, we come before a father who sacrificed his son, the one true lamb, the one who came to pay the ultimate price upon the cross. See, sometimes we read these strange stories in the Old Testament and we think, hey, what's going on? Well, in all these stories, we can point towards Jesus. What are we learning about the father heart of God that he would give of his own son that we might know freedom and redemption today? The Lord provided for Abraham by providing a lamb. The Lord provides for all of us by providing his son, the lamb of God, who came to take away the sins of the world. Do you know Jesus today? Do you know that he paid the price for your wrongdoing, that you might know freedom in him? Do you know that the Lord is your provider? And how are you at following the instructions he gives us? May we follow in obedience and learn more about God and ourselves as we do so. Guys, check out the chapters for yourself, Genesis 21 and 22, and come back tomorrow for the next part of our journey through Genesis. Why not catch up with Kweku and me on Friday 
as we jump on Instagram Live at four to unpack some of these passages further and take some of your questions. Guys, have a great week. See you soon. Bye now.